Okay, how many of you guys have gone to open a door and realize, oh crap, it's not working, and then, you know, next guy that walks next to you opens the door really easily and goes through the door. <laughs> There's like a door over in the 200 billion that does that to me like almost every day. You know, had they just realized, um, you know, had they just taken the opportunity to maybe assess the situation and say, hey, maybe I need to kind of just relax a little. <laughs> maybe do something else other than just go for the door and just get for it. Maybe I'll get in. Now, the Chinese proverb that I ended up getting uh, talk, to talk about is, uh, oh, man, uh, you can't use a hatchet to remove a fly from a fa friend's forehead. <laughs> so, you know, that got, for some reason, the door jam thing is like the first thing that I thought of, you know, just... I don't know why. So, the first, uh, I'll discuss. First thing I'd like to talk about is, uh, you know, when you're out on a date, you know? How many of you guys go out on a date and, you know, you guys try and get on, get a date using pickup lines? Come on, man. <laughs> what the heck's up with these pickup lines? You can't use pickup lines. You gotta, you know, maybe like talk to a girl, you know, like have conversations with a girl. Maybe like not look so scruffy. Maybe like comb your hair, maybe spray a little cologne on, not smell like butt all the time. Yeah, you know, maybe that. Uh, next thing with school, you know what I mean? With school, how the heck are you going to get through school if you just show up and attend classes and, and, and don't put any effort in it? You have to make use of the tools that are available for you. You have to make use of the resources. You have to go, you know, get tutoring at the, uh, you know, student skill center. You might have to put in a couple extra hours at the math lab to get that little extra A in your math class, hey, you might have to study a little extra longer so that way you come to prepare for uh, your test. Last thing I'm going to talk about is this recent uh, election, I'm sorry. And, uh, you know, McCain, honorable military person, you know, had he just stuck to what he pledged at the beginning of his campaign and ended up running a positive, uh, non-negative campaign, he might have ended up, uh, you know, might have ended up being at least a close race at the end of uh, the day. So just think about it when ultimately at the end of the day when you see this pesky little fly going around on your friend's forehead, don't use a hatchet, use a fly swatter. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. <laughs>
All of them are effective, but in the short amount of time that you're speaking, your two and a half minutes, it seems to be a little too much. Like if all of that was spread out over the uh, you know four minutes, it would seem much more like you're being active instead of and involved in the speech instead of kind of just wild and over over the top on things. Um, I liked. Uh, I thought your voice was pretty solid. Uh, there's a lot of variety there. Um, it's it's paced uh, pretty well. It's very fluid. I, maybe you're going a little fast. Uh, lots of, like I said, lots of involvement, uh, lots of indicators, but sometimes just a little broad. Be and maybe again, it's because they're so condensed that they seem uh, more uh, over the top. Uh, your facial expressions, you're very vivid and involved there. Eye contact, you, you get the two sides of the room. You, unlike. Uh, Somebody else that we had earlier was talking to the center of the room. You're over there, and you're over there, and you're over there, and you're over there, and you're not really scanning the room. You're not uh, taking time to talk to people individually. I think that's a little bit problematic. And I thought your exit was clear, and, you know, it ties into the topic, so that's kind of clever. All right, good deal.